Hi, I'm Lauren Robbins. I'm Joe Kim. I'm Trevor Gould. And I'm Macy Van Erden. We are four students in the Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering Department at Iowa State University. This semester, we worked with United Equipment Accessories out of Waverly, Iowa on our senior capstone project, which we're excited to share with you today. UEA Engineers and Manufacturers custom slip rings, rotary unions, cable reels, and shift controls used in a wide variety of industries. Our capstone project focused on their hydraulic swivels, which falls under the rotary union product line. This product has seen significant growth since last year and is expected to grow even more in the years to come. In order to keep up with this increasing demand, UEA had to consider manufacturing improvements to ensure the necessary capacity to keep up. Our project, more specifically, observed their hydraulic swivel cleanroom, which houses the assembly and test processes. We were tasked with creating a new layout to accommodate an increased throughput of 125 swivels per week, while reducing waste by 25%. Achieving those two objectives, as well as a return on investment of less than three years, was the goal to a successful project. To achieve the objectives Macy just stated, our team first had to understand the assembly and testing processes and their current state. Our goal from this analysis was to identify what worked well and what could be improved upon. To do this, we conducted work sampling, time studies, spaghetti diagrams, ergonomic assessments, material flow analysis, and created a value stream map. After using these tools, we identified three elements that we could significantly improve upon. Work sampling revealed that the testing machine, despite being the bottleneck of the clean room, was only utilized less than a third of the time. Our value stream map showed that the hydraulic swivel parts would often be stuck waiting in upstream and downstream processes relative to the clean room. Finally, we saw that operators spent significant parts of their days walking around and transporting goods. Based on the current state deliverables Joe discussed, we created three different packaging layout options and two different clean room layout options. The location of the clean room already chosen by UEA was to be in the upper left hand corner of the north plant. At first we considered keeping packaging in its current location and putting it in the shipping dock room for easy transportation directly from packaging to shipping. Additionally, we identified that placing packaging directly outside of the new clean room might make the most sense in terms of ease of implementation. After calculating the total distance traveled of the three different packaging locations, it was determined that the only layout with a positive waste reduction percentage was when packaging was placed within the shipping room. As you can see from the graph, this is because the distance from paint to packaging and packaging to shipping is virtually eliminated because of how small the distance traveled is. For the clean room, there were two different routes that were created, one counterclockwise and one clockwise. While these routes seem similar, the flow of the route is affected based on the ceiling height, HVAC systems, and where the different rail systems are going to be located. After analysis that was done using the value stream map, we determined that the optimal route was the clockwise route. The clockwise route places the assembly station directly next to the washer. The route is a safer option in terms of transferring swivels. Additionally, the operators use the same rail system to transfer parts from the washer to the assembly station as opposed to having to switch rail systems if the assembly station was on the other side of the clean room. Both of these recommended solutions for packaging and for the clean room are going to be implemented by UEA. Through recommending heuristics, addressing scheduling, and identifying optimal layouts, our group was able to provide a theoretical future state throughput of 125 parts per week and cut movement within the clean room by 34.8%. By saving their frontline workers over 19 hours per week in excess travel and material transport, we were also able to generate a yearly cost savings of $103,482. Additionally, we conducted market research to pinpoint a price range for items such as an additional parts washer, a bridge crane and hoist system, and different types of tables. The total estimated project cost is estimated to be between $83,000 and $123,000, leaving UEA with an estimated three-year net present value of between $172,000 and $212,000 and a return on investment of just 10 to 14 months of operation, which is far less than the objective goal of three years. Recognizing the recommended manufacturing heuristics and implementing the new layout designs will allow operators to move more product while moving less distance and generating more profit. We would like to send a big thank you to Dr. Sly, the Iowa State IMSE Department, and to everyone at UEA for their support and for making this project possible. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.